Hey everybody, it's Andy with ELOA and I am uh, very excited to uh, show you this quick presentation on how to create the perfect law firm landing page. Um, you know, we've been working with a lot of law firms over the years. I, I personally work with all, pro about 50 law firms right now uh, doing their internet marketing and uh, as we've as we've tested things and as we've you know driven traffic to websites and and seen what works and what doesn't we've we've kind of started to perfect the perfect landing page for a law firm and this is a uh, format that we use and if you see any of our clients websites you're gonna see that uh, pretty much as a pattern here because we pretty much use the same uh, format for almost all of our all of our lawyer clients um, because these these elements to this page really work um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of go through this and I wanted to uh, map out each element, um, show you uh, why we put where we, why, why we put the things we do, um, how it works, everything is, uh, there's a purpose for everything that we do. Um, and uh, maybe you can take some of these elements and apply them to your own website or if you're building a new website, maybe you can just copy this, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm giving this away for free because uh, I want to uh, provide a lot of value here. So with that said, let's get started. But before I go into the elements, I want to talk about one very important element with a law firm, uh, a law firm landing page, and that is do not under any circumstances whatsoever use sliders. And what a slider is, is um, that's when you're at the top of the website and you see and it's got a really it's got a really pretty picture and it says fighting for clients since 1992. And then the text fades down and the picture slides to the left and then another one comes in and it's a picture of you, uh, you know, sitting behind your desk and it says uh, more than 30 million dollars in verdicts won since 1972 or whatever it says. Um, whatever you do, do not use a slider, use a static image. Um, with with the, uh, the 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 elements that we're about to talk about, and the reason that I say this is because think about how short people's attention spans are. Well, first of all, actually, it doesn't really convert well on mobile. But second of all, think about how short people's attention spans are. You know, I mean, you've got to get someone's attention span in half a second. And basically what you're doing is you're adding moving text and moving pictures and all kinds of stuff. And people just have a blind spot for these things. We actually uh, have done tests on websites, uh, not even tests, basically we, we've had instances with, with websites where we've replaced the slider with a static image and instantly we've doubled their phone calls. Um, or we've gone from a website that was getting a lot of traffic and not getting any conversions to all of a sudden they get conversions. Uh, and it's simply because we, we got rid of the slider, we put a strong call to action, we put some of these uh, benefits in here that we're going to talk about, um, and, and it just works really well. So whatever you do, do not use a slider on your website. So the elements that we make sure that we have on every law firm uh, uh, landing page are, are, we have seven elements. There's benefits, features, proof, trust, image, offer, and form. And if you look on the right here, you're going to see that we have all these elements on this page. Um, this is what I consider to be the perfect uh, law firm landing page. Um, this is a, a made up law firm that uh, I just created, Adele and Lennox PA. Adele is my daughter's middle name, Lennox is my son's middle name. Uh, so Adele and Lennox PA is, uh, is what we got. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through this entire mock-up and show you uh, how all seven of these elements are used, why they're used, and how you can apply them to you. So the first and most important element on here are benefits. And uh, you know, next we're gonna talk about features, um, but benefits differ from features because benefits are how is the client, how is your client going to benefit from hiring you as their attorney? So in this case, you can see we're really highlighting, get compensated for medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering. And then in the second box, we have received personal attention on your case, work directly with an attorney, not a caseworker, and pay us nothing unless we're successful for you. Now, the reason that this is very important, most attorneys want to lead with at the very top, uh, more than $30 million in verdicts and settlements. And, you know, I've been an attorney for this long and all this kind of stuff and, you know, all that great stuff about yourself. And it's natural to want to do that because your favorite topic is you. My favorite topic is me. Most people's favorite topic is themselves. Um, but you need to remember that the person looking at your website, their favorite topic is themselves as well. So the most important thing for them is not how long you've been an attorney. The most important thing for them is what are you going to do for them? 
So that's why we lead with get compensated for medical bills, lost wages, pain and suffering. If you're a criminal defense, it might be, uh, you know, uh, uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive defense for your pending criminal charges or, uh, you know, uh, we do whatever we can to keep you out of jail or, or you know, wh whatever it may be. I'm just kind of coming up with these off the top of my head. But if you lead with the benefits, how you are going to how the how the, the viewer is going to benefit from your service instead of how you basically talking about yourself, you're going to see much better results. And another tip here, um, we found that adding uh, a list uh, if you see, it says uh, one, receive personal attention in your ca on your case. Two, work directly with an attorney, not a caseworker. Three, pay us nothing unless we're successful. Um, we found that using numbers one, two, three are the most effective. We've tried check boxes, we tried bullet points, different things like that, and for some reason, a, a numbered list seems to work really well there. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, I think that this is probably the most important part of the landing page. Um, just because of the fact that, you know, you're using psychology here. You, you're, you're just, just appealing to what the person is looking for. And that's, how is this going to help me? Next is going to be the features. Uh, and as you can see, we do highlight features because after they see what you can do for them, then they want to know that you're qualified. Um, so that's why we do highlight the features, um, fighting for injury victims since 1992, more than 30 million in verdicts and settlements won for our clients. And that's fine. You can make those bigger. You can make them look good. But you've got to make sure that you balance out the features with the benefits. And, and that's the most important thing. Um, you know, so uh, this is a good example. There's obviously other things that you can say about yourself. But, um, you know, these are just some examples of, of, of what you can use for, for features. Um, so proof. Now, when we talk about proof, we're talking about social proof. Um, and social proof can be awards that you won. It can be uh, testimonials. We don't have testimonials in here, but you could have a testimonial. Um, I typically like to either have those logos like 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 we have right there. We've got uh, what is that? That's the California Bar Association Lawyer.com and Avo. Now, something that's interesting about this: if you don't have um, a lot of awards, you can list bar associations and things that you that you belong to. Um, a lot of times people see these logos and you know, they, they think that uh, they, 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 there's an implied uh, credibility. We call these credibility indicators. One tip, if you're going to use logos, don't put 500 logos on there. We find three logos works best and make sure that they're grayscale. Um, you can see these logos here are all black and white. The rest of this website is color, but these are black and white. So make sure you use grayscale logos. Um, if you add too much proof, we found that people think that it, it's desperate or that it just doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't come across as, uh, I, I don't know, people think that maybe it's desperate or, or, or it's, it's not legitimate. I, I don't know. But we found that three is the magic number here. Um, now, the other thing you can do is you can add a testimonial in this area. So if you have a really good testimonial, now don't put a five, don't put a 500 word testimonial in there, but you can put maybe one or two lines uh, from a client. Um, that works really well too. Now, uh, don't do both. Don't have a testimonial and a and, and these these logos. Um, a lot of times when a lot of times what we'll do is we'll put the logos. Uh, in the top here, uh, and then we'll put a testimonial on the sidebar in the website, and that'll go site wide, um, or we'll put it somewhere else on on the page, because um, we want to make sure we do have testimonials. But you don't want to overload this top uh, part with testimonials. Another thing on the right side here, this is something we put in here: five star rating with Google, and we put these five stars here. Now it's important to use the same color orange that Google uses. Um, and, uh, that's something that it, 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 this, uh, it, this works really well. People are getting trained to look for those stars and when they go to Amazon, when they go to Google, when they go anywhere, they start looking for those stars. So there's a little bit of a psychological factor there when they see those stars. Um, you know, it, it works well. One thing that actually works a little better, which we did, um, is we actually changed it one time to 4.8 star rated with Google. Um, and that actually worked really well. The reason is um, because I think that it's kind of, I think it feels more real because someone would say, why wouldn't, why would they say 4.8? Why wouldn't they just say, uh, why wouldn't they just say five stars? Um, a lot of times, 
you are not five star rated with Google. A lot of times you're 4.6 or 4.8 or whatever it is. And um, this makes it a little bit more legitimate. It makes it more accurate. It takes away a false advertising uh, element from it. Um, so if you can be accurate with that, be as accurate as possible um, and keep it updated. You know, now obviously, uh, if you drop down, if you get some negative reviews, you, there's obviously some things that need to happen both, uh, you know, from a reputation management standpoint and also probably making this so it's so it is still uh, uh, accurate. But when you add those those stars in there, uh, people subconsciously or not, they 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 do feel they do feel better about it. Uh, so those are two things that I, I think are, are, are pretty important. So now another thing is trust. Um, one thing that we found is the padlock at the bottom of the contact form. Um, it's literally just a picture, uh, but we found that uh, it, it doubled conversions. Um, for some reason, people see that and they think, oh, well, this is secure. I don't know. Um, but it, it works. It works really well in terms of, of, of making, making, uh, increasing the trust. The other, uh, the other thing that's important to note is at the top of the form, we have no obligation case evaluation. Now, some attorneys don't offer free consultations. If you're, you know, we actually have some divorce lawyer clients and some different types of clients that don't offer free consultations. So if you don't, then you might have to figure out something to put there, but you've got to have something that makes it safe for them to call you. Um, a lot of people don't, you know, most people have never had an attorney before. They've never been in trouble. They, all they know is that attorneys cost a lot of money. And, you know, so, uh, we, we found that basically, uh, including free in depth, no, uh, free in depth, no obligation case evaluation. Um, that seems to work pretty well. Uh, people love the word free. Um, there's no obligation. So, so they feel better. They're not going to get tricked into signing a, a, a contract or, or, or whatever. Uh, it takes away the fear of the commitment. Um, some of the other trust ideas that you can put in there, um, you can put better business bureau that can also, you know, that, that can, you can use things like better business bureau over here as well. And that kind of, uh, that'll serve as two for one. That's people love the better business bureau for some reason. Um, over here, you can also use VeriSign and, and McAfee and, and, and different types of security logos. I just had a meeting with the guys from trust guard a couple days ago. Uh, so you might want to sign up for a service like that. Um, and anything in there, they don't really mean a whole lot, but people feel better about them. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a lot of psychology to get people to, uh, to, to, to trust you enough to, uh, fill out the form or, or, or make a phone call. The interesting thing is these things also increase phone calls. So it wasn't just that we got more contact form submissions. We, we got more phone calls and, and in reality, what we find from our clients is that the phone calls are the better leads. Typically the contact forms are not the best leads, but um, you know, it, we, we still put it on there because we do get good leads from the contact form. So another thing is that you always want to put, and this is kind of sales 101, you always put the picture of the, you always put a picture of the product in there. Um, the product is the main attorney. Um, so in this case, Adele and Lennox, those are not my kids. Uh, my kids are like two and five, but, uh, maybe that's what they'll look like one day. I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, we try to put the pictures in there. Um, you know, if you're the lawyer, you're the product. Sometimes, um, we, we used to use black and white pictures for the, uh, we used to use black and white pictures for the photos. Um, and, and it worked really well, but, um, the clients didn't like it. Uh, you know, it's, it kind of comes down to one of those, it, it's a balancing act between search engine optimization and conversion rate optimization. Um, and, um, well, we, 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 we always say there's three parts. There's SEO so search engine optimization, which is how does Google like your website? There's conversion rate optimization, which is how do the clients like your website or the potential clients do they pick up the phone and call or do they book an, a, a consultation or whatever? And then there's also kind of the personal style of your website. And none of those three things want anything to do with the other. So if you have a website that converts really, really well, we found that our attorney clients really hate it because it's very salesy. Um, and, and, uh, a lot of times that's not great for Google. So if you do something that's really good for SEO, then the conversion gets taken away. So it's kind of a delicate balancing act. And we, we try to keep that in, in mind with our clients. So when we use the black and white images, it worked really well, but we just got so many complaints from our clients that we decided that we were not going to use it. So if you want to try a black and white image, my advice is go with a black and white image. Um, but, uh, that's, that's totally up to you. You can see what it looks like and, uh, kind of go from there. Now, 
Uh, the next thing is the offer. And we kind of talked about this with the trust also, but there's got to be a reason for them to call you. Um, so we have an offer, uh, free in-depth, no obligation case evaluation. Uh, we've got free consultation on the button. Um, sometimes, um, and I didn't do this, but sometimes putting something that's actually first person conversational works really well. Uh, like, um, you know, instead of, instead of the button saying free consultation, um, we probably could have done a little better with this one. We probably could have said something like, uh, book my consultation or contact me as soon as possible or contact me for my free case, uh, my free consultation, something like that. Uh, we find that things like that work a little bit better. Um, again, they're a little salesy. Sometimes they're not as professional as some of our clients would like. So, um, you can play around with your, uh, your, 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 uh, comfort in that one. Uh, also we have at the top, um, call for a free consultation. I uh, didn't highlight it, but uh, we have that as well. That's another call to action in this, uh, in this form. Uh, like I said, free is always going to be best. Um, we do have clients that charge for consultations. They don't get as many calls because uh, people are expecting free consultations for certain services. Um, you know, it, it really depends on, on your business model, but uh, we found that free is, is always going to be best. Um, now, the form and we kind of talked about this also and a lot of these you know a lot of these kind of go together um but um the form they have to have some sort of way of contacting you and i know that this seems obvious but i've seen a lot of websites a lot of attorney websites that don't have a phone number at the top or they don't have and and a lot of times the contact form is hidden below I mean, the main thing you want them to do is contact you. You don't want someone to go to your website and just get information. If somebody has been in an accident, if somebody's getting a divorce, or somebody's got, uh, been arrested, or their family member's been arrested, you want them to pick up the phone and call you, or, or, or at the very least, fill out a contact form right away. So a lot of times, I'll go to websites, and they have a contact us button, and that takes you to the contact page, but there's no, <laughs> it's just, it seems obvious to me, but um, in the header, you, you always want to have, uh, I like having the phone number at the top right, and then I like having a contact form in there, and, and you need to make it extremely obvious. Um, we add elements like this red arrow right here, um, and uh, you can't see it. Uh, hey, let me go back to this real quick. So this one right here, there, there's no markup in this. So you can see the only thing in this color, the only thing in that color red uh, is, is that red arrow. So it really stands out. Uh, something else that 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 stands out is the green in the contact in the free consultation button. And if I were to do this again, I would probably make that a little bit darker green. Um, but if you can make those two elements, uh, two colors that don't appear anywhere else on the page, that red does not appear anywhere else on that page. And if we made that a darker green, that green would not appear anywhere else on the page. Um, those really get the attention uh, in the contact form. Um, and you know they they just get people's attention and and it just stands out and it, and it works it works really well uh again uh you know you, you typically want to have something uh, you don't want to just use the word submit uh in your button um we talked about it a little bit before free consultations okay uh it's better to use conversational you know give me my free you know honestly if you <laughs> what works really well is give me g-i-m-m-e uh for some reason uh whenever we're selling products uh, give me my free this or, or, or give me my free, you know, give me my free ebook. I don't know why, but it works really well. Uh, definitely not uh, professional. Um, so use that. I mean, I, you know, I don't think there's any risk to using it. It's just a lot of times uh, attorneys don't necessarily want that. Um, now, something else um, that you can do with the contact form that, that really makes it stand out, and we did this a little bit, but if, you're, if your contact form is on a light background, our background happens to be dark. It's a, a, a dark blue uh, background. Well, it's actually a courtroom, but then it's got a blue overlay to it. But uh, what you'll see here, if you look on the edge, we got this black line here. Uh, it just kind of separates it, but if you're on a white background, use a dark, uh, a dark border around your your contact form and um i don't know why but it separates it and and people like it when you, you it just seems to work better when you it, it, i guess it gets i guess it doesn't get lost or or it doesn't blend in or, or or whatever it is um so uh you know all you have to do is uh, con uh surround that with a a dark line um and i mean any web developer can do that but yeah if you can if you can make a dark outline then that, that, that's a, a great strategy. And it just kind of, we, we found that to increase conversions a little bit.
So these concepts are great to keep in mind if you're building a new website, but you should also use these elements if you're running Facebook ads or if you're running a PPC campaign. These types of ads typically require a landing page and this format works really well for that. Modifying your website to meet these criteria will be really difficult if you don't have a designer on staff or a, or a coder that you can call. So what you can do instead is use software called ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is landing page software that we use for almost all of our landing pages simply because it's drag and drop and it's extremely simple to update. So what that means is that if we want to change any copy or change a picture or change a color or adjust the formatting, we can do so with just a couple clicks. We created this exact landing page for you to use in ClickFunnels. It's totally free to use and all you have to do to access it is visit landingpage.eloa.org. Once you have the landing page loaded up, all you have to do is change the colors, change the copy, add your logo, put your picture in there, and then you should be good to go. It's really, really easy. So once you go to landingpage.eloa.org, you'll be prompted to set up a ClickFunnels account. ClickFunnels is free for 14 days and then it's $99 per month after that. However, if you're running a uh, Facebook campaign or a Google AdWords campaign, it's absolutely worth it. We use ClickFunnels for all of our clients that need landing pages just because it's so easy to put one together. So there you go. That's the perfect landing page. I uh, wish you a lot of luck with it. And as always, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.